السلام عليكم جميعا أعزائي طلبة الفرقة الثالثة شعب بنكمل مع بعض المحاضرات أونلاين ودي معادنا مع المحاضرة رقم 8 محاضرة جديدة وشابتر جديد كان في بعض التساؤلات جات لي على الفيس من بعض الزملاء زمايلكم بتسأل على شكل الامتحان وهل هيكون اونلاين ولا هيبقى شكله ازاي فانا جاوبت الاسئلة ديت على الجروب بتاعنا بتاع المادة على الفيسبوك ووضحت بالتفصيل حاجات هتطمنكم ان شاء الله تمام لما يتحدد الالية اللي حي حي الكلية هتحدد بيها شكل الامتحان ازاي هتمتحنكم اونلاين هبدأ اقول لكم ازاي شكل الامتحان والتفاصيل بتاعته هتبقى عاملة ازاي تمام دي جزئية الجزئية التانية كان علشان بس ما حدش يتلخبط منكم احنا قلنا الامتحانات المحتوى بتاع المحاضرات قصدي هو محتوى, محتوى موحد لجميع طلبة سنة تالتة شعب سواء كان بيزنس او غير بيزنس يعني تمام فانت المحتوى بتاع المحاضرات هو اللي انت ايه مسؤول عنه وده اللي انت هتمتحن فيه باذن الله طيب إيه في بعض الشابترز بتنزل اللي انا بنزلها في المحاضرات بتاعتي بتبقى ليها إيه عنوان معين ورقم معين للشابتر يعني احنا خدنا مثلا البروفيت بلاننج وكان ده شابتر 9 إيه تمام الدكتور صلاح بيدي إيه مجموعات تانية وكان منزل الشابتر ده هو برضو البروفيت بلاين بلاننج نفس المحتوى لكن الشابتر هو شابتر 8 تمام فالاختلاف في رقم الشابتر ده لاختلاف الاديشن اللي احنا بنستخدمه اديشن بتاع الكتاب لكن المحتوى واحد وهو ده اللي انت هتمتحن فيه وما فيش قلق في الجزئية ديت بردك بعد البروفيت بلاننج كلمنا هنتكلم يعني على السيجمنت ريبورتنج لو الشابتر بتاعنا وده شابتر رقم 12 لو احنا بنتكلم على ال 13th edition او ممكن هتلاقي الشابتر ده بنفس المسمى رقم 6 لو احنا بنتكلم في ال 14th edition لكن هو هو نفس اسم الشابتر وهو هو المحتوى لكن الاديشنز ايه مختلف ده بس علشان ما حدش يتلخبط منكم احنا المحتوى اللي بينزل بيه المحاضرات هو ده اللي انت هتمتحن فيه مفيش حاجة ما خدتهاش هتيجي في الامتحان طيب let's begin the lecture number 8 its title is segment reporting segment reporting خلاص segment reporting معناها التقارير القطاعية التقارير القطاعية طيب يعني ايه فكرة segment reporting تعال نبدأ واحدة واحدة كده علشان ايه نفهمها Learning objective number one. This is the main learning objective, which discusses how to prepare a segment income statement using the contribution format and explain the difference between traceable fixed costs and common fixed costs. If we are the main objective of the chapter. عايزين نعرف ازاي how to prepare a segment income statement ازاي يمكن اعداد قائمة دخل قطاعية using the contribution format باستخدام قائمة الدخل المعتمدة على ال contribution format هامش المساهمة and explain the difference between traceable fixed cost وازاي هنقدر نفرق بين ما يسمى بالتريسابل فيكسد كوست اللي هي التكاليف الثابتة التي يمكن تتبعها والكومون فيكسد كوست اللي هي التكاليف الثابتة العامة اوكي okay. يبقى this is the main objective of the chapter or of our lecture let's show the next slide
To understand the term segment reporting and to know how to prepare a segment income statement, let's take a brief look at the term decentralization. In a decentralized organization, decision-making authority is spread throughout the organization rather than being confined to a few top executives or managers. Organizations do differ, however, in the extent to which they are decentralized. In strong centralized organizations, decision-making authority is rarely delegated to lower level uh, managers who have little freedom to make decisions. In strongly decentralized organizations, even th the lowest level managers are empowered to make as many decisions as possible. Decentralized organizations need responsibility accounting. محاسبة المسؤولية وإحنا خدنا الترم ده قبل كده. Responsibility accounting systems that link lower level managers decision making authority with accountability for the outcomes of these decisions. The term responsibility center is used for many parts of an organization whose managers has whose manager has control over and is is accountable for most profit or investments the three primary types of responsibility centers are cost centers profit centers and investment centers يبقى احنا هنا بنعرف ان في حالات ال decentralized organization the company divided into segments or divided into individual departments خلاص وهنا بيقول لي effective decentralization requires segment reporting فانا لو هعمل هنا يبقى عندي decentralization يبقى لازم اعمل ايه اعمل segment reporting because I am dealing with uh, the organization as segments. But I am dealing with it as segments. I have to prepare segment reporting. Segment, or I have to reveal a segmented reported. Okay. I have to do a report for all segments. Okay. So here we are talking about segment. A segment is an is any part of activity of an organization about which a manager seeks uh, cost, uh, revenue, or uh, profit data. We have three types of, a, to, of uh, segments. خلاص. cost, profit, and investment centers are segments as are sales uh, territories, uh, in individual stores, is surface centers, manufacturing planets, marketing departments, individual customers, and product lines. All of these are examples of segments. تمام؟ اللي هم شايفينهم إيه على اليمين دول اللي هو an individual store, a sales territory, و a surface center. Okay. يبقى هنا the main idea is if you are a decentralized organization, uh, you have to uh, prepare segmented reporting. You have to prepare segmented reporting. تمام؟ يعني ممكن نقول in uh, uh, addition in the company-wide income statement, يعني besides the income statement or the uh, income statement for the whole organizations, uh, reports are needed to, uh, for individual uh, segments of the organization. Yep, we need to prepare segmented reports for a for each individual segment in the in the organization. فبجانب الانكم ستيتمنت الخاصة بالشركة ككل 
uh, the company needs to prepare segmented reports خلاص وده اللي احنا uh, ان شاء الله we will know uh, it in the in the next slides let's uh, go to the next slide now we are gonna learn how to use the contribution approach uh, to construct income statement for business segments these segmented income statements are useful for analyzing uh, the profitability of segments making decisions and measuring the performance of segment managers this slide tells us the main keys when we are preparing segmented income statement it says here that uh, there, there are two keys to building segmented income statements the first one a contribution format should be used because it separates fixed from variable cost and it enables the, the calculation of a contribution margin يبقى uh, 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 يعني عندي the first step بستخدم ال contribution format طبعا عارفينه اللي هو بيعمل uh, separation between fixed and variable cost ده خدناه قبل كده علشان اوصل للايه لل contribution margin دي حاجة طيب uh, the second key uh, tells us traceable fixed cost should be separated from common fixed cost to enable the calculation of a segment margin لازم هنا بعمل فصل بين ما يسمى بالتريسابل فيكسد كوست اللي هي التكاليف الثابتة التي يمكن تتبعها والكومون فيكسد كوست والتكاليف العامة التكاليف العامة هنشوف معناهم الاثنين دول ايه in the next slide علشان استطيع ان انا احسب what is called segment margin اللي هو هامش المساهمة الخاص أو هامش الربح الخاص بالقطاع بالسيجمنت يعني بتاعي تمام يبقى دول ايه دول these are the main keys that enable me to prepare segmented income statement let's know some information about the term of traceable fixed costs and the common fixed costs before we understanding uh, uh, how can we prepare a segmented income statement we have to know some uh, new terms uh, this slide tells us the difference between a traceable and the common fixed cost and the segment margin it says here uh, you need to understand three new terms to prepare segmented income statement using the contribution approach uh, these terms are traceable fixed cost common fixed cost and segment margin let's know the first one a traceable fixed cost a تكاليف الثابتة التي يمكن تتبعها A traceable fixed cost of a segment is a fixed cost that is incurred because the uh, exist because because of the existence of the segment. If the segment had never existed, the fixed cost would wouldn't have been uh, incurred, and if the segment were eliminated, the fixed cost would disappear. Examples of traceable fixed cost include the following the salary of the uh, fruits product manager at Pepsi company is a traceable fixed cost of the uh, fruits business segment of Pepsi company the maintenance cost of the building uh, in which Boeing 747 are as assembled is a traceable fixed cost of the 747 business segment of Boeing so the conclusion here the traceable fixed cost exists when the segment is existed and the traceable fixed cost disappeared 
uh, when the segment uh, itself uh, eliminated or disappeared بمعنى ان التراسبل فيكسد كوست دي مرتبطه از كلوزلي ريليتد تو ذا سيجمنت لو السيجمنت موجود يبقى هقدر احدد التراسبل فيكسد كوست لو السيجمنت ده مش موجود او تم استبعاده يبقى اي كانت ديتيرمين ذا تريسبل فيكسد كوست اوكي يبقى هو مرتبط بوجود او عدم وجود ايه وعدم وجود السيجمنت نفسه خلاص وهنا خدنا اكزامبلز اباوت ذا تريسبل فيكسد كوست Here how to identify traceable fixed cost. ده شكل توضيحي بيوضح how to identify the traceable fixed cost. هنا بيقول the traceable costs arises or arise because of the existence of a particular segment and would disappear over time if the segment itself disappeared. فاعطيني هنا example. No computer division means no computer division manager. تمام؟ يبقى هنا لو احنا بنتكلم على السالري اوف ذا ديفيجن مانجرز يبقى هنعتبره ات از ا تريسبل فيكسد ايه تريسبل فيكسد ايه كوست ولو ذا كمبيوتر ديفيجن ديسابيرد اتسلف يبقى عندي برضك ذا ايه ذا سالري ذا سالري اوف ذا ديفيجن مانجر ويل بي ديسابيرد لما ده هيختفي ده هيختفي في نفس الايه في نفس الوقت يبقى دي تريسبل فيكسد ايه فيكسد كوست اوكي This slide discusses how to identify common fixed costs. A common fixed cost, اللي هي التكاليف العامة, is a fixed cost that supports the operations of more than one segment, but is not traceable in whole or in part to any one segment. Even if a segment were entirely Eliminated or disappeared, there would be no change in the uh, in a true common fixed cost. For example, the salary of the CEO of General Motors is a common fixed cost of the various division of General uh, Motors. The cost of uh, heating a Safeway or Kroger grocery store in a Common is a common fixed cost of the store's various departments, which are groceries, produce, bakery, meat, etc. يبقى هنا لو بنتكلم على التكاليف الثابتة العامة اللي هي common fixed cost دي مش مرتبطة ب a particular segment وإنما it's a common fixed cost. It's a general fixed cost relates to the whole company. تمام؟ If one segment is disappeared or eliminated, there will be no change in the common fixed cost. مش هيبقى في أي تغيير وهتحمل برضو كل الـ common fixed cost. ليه؟ Because it is not related to a specific segment itself. تمام؟ وإن هي تكاليف إيه؟ تكاليف عامة. زي ما إداني إكزامبل هنا اللي هو the salary of the إيه؟ The uh, head manager of the company is a common fixed cost. Hatta even uh, if any segment wo wo uh, was disappeared, the uh, salary will be the company will handle it. Okay, this is the one we are talking about, the common fixed cost, and the difference between the traceable fixed cost. Okay, let's uh, see the next uh, slide. This slide clarify uh, how to identify the uh, common fixed costs. It says here common costs arise be because of the overall uh, operation of the company and wouldn't, wouldn't uh, disappear if any particular segment were eliminated or were disappeared. If we don't have a, a, a computer division uh, uh, but we will have a company president. Yani, if the computer division uh, disappeared, we still have 
السالري اوف كومباني بريزيدنت يبقى السالري اوف ذا كومباني بريزيدنت از ا كومون فيكسد كوست اوكي بيكوز ات ات دازنت ريليت تو اني سبيسيفيك سيجمنت I think uh, we know the difference between the common fixed cost and the, uh, the traceable fixed cost. This is an important note you have to know about the fixed cost. If we are talking about fixed cost, we have traceable fixed cost and common fixed cost. Uh, uh, the traceable fixed cost <coughs> uh, is related to each uh, segment. Uh, it belongs uh, uh, the segment and we can trace it to a specific segment. And the common fixed cost is a general uh, cost and we don't allocate common cost to segment. Because the common cost is a general cost related to the whole company. So we don't allocate common cost to segment. A traceable, the cost of a each segment. لكن the common ما قدرش أخصصها. We can allocate, we can assign it to each segment. ما قدرش أخصصها على كل إيه. على كل سيجمنت وبالتالي don't allocate common cost to the segment لأنها خاصة بإيه it belongs to the whole organization ودي مهمة جدا أن احنا نعرفها this slide tells us how to calculate a contribution margin and a segment margin to prepare a segmented income statement Variable expenses are deducted from sales to yield the contribution margin for the segment. The contribution margin tells us what happens to profits as volume changes. Holding a segment's capacity and fixed costs constant. To compute the contribution margin, sales minus variable costs, so the result will be the contribution margin. So the contribution margin here is forty thousand dollars. To calculate the segment margin, the segment margin is obtained. by deducting the traceable fixed cost of a segment from the segment's contribution margin. So the first step is to compute the contribution margin of the segment. It uh, represents the margin available after a segment has covered all of its own costs. To calculate the uh, segment margin, contribution margin which is 40,000 minus the traceable fixed cost which equal 12,000 so the segment margin is uh, 28,000 these uh, numbers are given to know how to calculate the con a contribution margin and the segment margin يبقى انا في الخطوة الاولى يا جماعة بحسب الكونتروجن مارجن وده احنا خدناه في محاضرات قبل كده سيلز ماينس فاريبل كوست عشان احسب السيجمنت مارجن باخد الكونتروجن مارجن واطرح منه التريسبل فيكسد كوست تو ارايف ات ذا سيجمنت مارجن بالشكل اللي احنا ايه بالشكل اللي احنا شايفينه اوكي ليتس كونتينيو This slide tells us more information about segment margin and contribution margin. You have to know if I ask you uh, in questions like uh, true or false or uh, multiple choice questions. Uh, it, it says here the segment margin which is computed by subtracting 
the traceable fixed cost of a segment from its contribution margin is the best gauge of the long run profitability of a segment. يبقى ده أفضل مقياس لإيه؟ إن أنا أحسب profitability of the segment in uh, the long run. Okay. From a decision uh, making point of view, the segment margin is most useful in major uh, decisions that affect capacity such as dropping a segment. By contrast, the contribution margin is most useful in decision involving short run changes in volume such as pricing uh, special orders that involves temporary use of existing capacity. يبقى هنا كانوا بيعمل زي comparison between the usage of uh, contribution margin and segment margin. This slide tries to tell us uh, that traceable costs can become common cost. It is important to realize that the traceable fixed cost of one segment may be a common fixed cost of another segment. For example, the landing fee paid to land an airplane at an airport is traceable to the particular flight. يبقى اللي هو بيحسب الفيز اللي هي بتاعت اللاندنج بيعتبرها traceable fixed cost بالنسبة ل this flight بالنسبة للإيه لرحلة الطيران المحددة ديت تمام but it is not traceable to first class business class and economy class passenger ولكنها مش تكاليف مش في مش تريسبل كوست بالنسبه لايه لكل فئه من الفئات الخاصه بالايه بالركاب تمام يبقى هنا المين ايديا اوف ذيس سلايد ذات ذا تريسبل كوست كان بيكم كومن كوست ان التكاليف اللي ممكن تتبعها ممكن تصبح تكاليف ايه تكاليف عامه Now we are gonna know how can we prepare a segmented income statement. Suppose that we have a company which is Weber Inc. has two division. Uh, these two divisions are computer division and television division. So let's look more closely at the television division's income statement. يبقى هنا عايزين نعرف ازاي بنقدر نعمل Uh, segmented income statement uh, قائمة دخل قطعية for each division اللي هي uh, computer and television division so we know uh, that let's uh, go to the next slide uh, this slide uh, shows us the income statement of the television division using the contribution margin format. So our approach to segment reporting uses the contribution format. Uh, uh, it says here, as we see, the income statement, contribution, form contribution margin format, television division, we uh, begin uh, with sales minus variable Uh, cost, cost of goods sold. The cost of goods sold consists of variable manufacturing costs. Here, the cost of goods sold huh, consists of all uh, variable manufacturing costs. Variable manufacturing costs are direct material, direct labor, and variable overhead costs. Okay, we put after that other variable costs. So the total variable cost will be 150,000. Okay. Now we are gonna compute the contribution margin. The contribution margin equal sales minus total variable cost. So the contribution margin equal 150,000. To arrive at the division margin, the segment margin of this division, Uh, we uh, deduct the traceable fixed cost from the contribution margin, so the result will be uh, six, uh, 
60,000 dollars which is the division margin uh, of uh, this uh, segment Uh, the fixed and the variable costs are uh, listed in separate sections so you have to uh, notice that the fixed and a uh, variable costs are listed in separate section in preparing uh, a, an income statement for this division يبقى بالشكل ده انا بقدر اعمل ايه بقدر اعمل segment uh, income statement لي any specific uh, segment or any specific division okay more information about the income statement of the television division uh, it says here the contribution margin uh, is computed by taking sales minus variable costs اللي احنا قلنا علشان اوصل للcontribution margin أنا بقول ال total variable cost uh, we deduct total variable cost from the total a uh, total sales. Okay. Another thing, segment margin is television's contribution to profit. بمعنى إن ال segment margin هو عبارة عن ال a uh, عبارة عن ال ال addition of this uh, segment or of this uh, division to the uh, profit of the uh, of the company. هو عبارة عن المساهمة بتاعة القسم ده في الـ 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 profit of the, of the company يعني عندي الـ الـ division margin اللي هو الستين ألف ده هو عبارة عن جزء من الـ من الـ profit that uh, the company achieves from this, uh, from this division This slide shows us the, the segmented uh, income statement uh, of the company of the two division of the company. Uh, we will begin with uh, sales. We have two division, computer uh, and television. We have three uh, columns. The uh, first column for the company, the second one for television division, the third one for computer sales for each one and the total uh, sales of the company variable cost for each one for the computer and for the television and for the company the summation of, of, of variable cost of uh, computer and television uh, is two hundred and thirty thousand dollars we deduct the variable cost from uh, sales so the result will be contribution margin the contribution margin for computer 120,000 for the television 150,000 for the company as a whole 270,000 and at the same time it is the summation of the contribution margin for the two uh, divisions to arrive at uh, division margin we deduct the traceable uh, fixed cost from the contribution margin the traceable fixed cost for computer 80,000 uh, for the television 90,000 for the uh, company as a whole is 170,000 okay so the uh, uh, division margin for uh, the computer 40,000 for television division 60,000 for the company 100,000 100, to arrive at the net operating income we have to deduct the common cost from the uh, division margin of the company as a whole we don't allocate a common cost to each division because the common cost belongs to the company as a whole even if any uh, division is eliminated uh, we uh, the company will uh, uh, charge for the uh, 
a, a common cost. We will see uh, this in the next slide. This is the same slide, uh, but here we are gonna calculate the net operating income. To calculate the net operating income, we will deduct common cost, which equal uh, 25,000 from the division margin for the column of the company. So the net operating income uh, of the company equal uh, 75,000. We have to notice that it is a very important thing. Common cost shouldn't be allocated to division. ما نخصص ال common cost على ال division يا جماعة. نقولش ده كام وده كام. ليه؟ قلنا because it is a general or common cost belongs to the company as a whole. These costs would remain even if one of the division were eliminated. يبقى حتى لو في استبعاد ل any division of these two divisions هفضل الشركة هتفضل تتحمل ايه؟ هتفضل تتحمل ال 25,000 اللي هما ال common cost. اوكي؟ يا رب تكونوا فاهمين. This slide discusses the idea of traceable costs can become common costs. قلنا في previous slides ان ممكن التريسبل كوستس اللي هي التكاليف اللي ممكن تطبعها بيكم ا كومن كوست تصبح تكاليف ايه يا عم طيب هنشوف ده ازاي as previously mentioned a fixed cost that are traceable to one segment can become common common costs if the company is divided into smaller segments طيب let's apply this idea to the a to the uh, Weber uh, Inc. Here, the example that we Let's see how this works using the Weber Inc. example. To understand this idea uh, that traceable cost can become common costs, suppose that Weber uh, Weber's uh, Inc. Television division uh, divided its uh, division its television division into two smaller division which is uh, regular and big screen uh, television تمام هنفترض ان هنا ال ال television division تم تقسيمه لتو product lines اللي هما regular television and big screen television يبقى قسمنا ال segment او ال division اللي هو الخاص بال television الى ايه الى two smaller uh, divisions in the home regular or big screen طيب, let's see the next slide this is the income statement of the television division which is divided into two uh, smaller the division which is regular and big screen uh, divisions uh, as the same we uh, discussed we begin uh, first with sales minus variable cost. The result will be contribution margin for uh, the divisions. To arrive at the uh, product line ma uh, margin, we deduct traceable fixed cost from the contribution margin. We obtained the following information from the regular and big screen segments. If the information that we have is related to the television division, we have to assign the division to the regular and the big screen. Plus, okay, let's see how we calculate the divisional margin for the television division when we assign it to smaller divisions. This will be in the next uh, slide. Uh, don't forget that we uh, are concentrating on the idea that the traceable costs can be become uh, a, a common costs. Now we will the income statement uh, which is belong to the television division. We have the information about كل ديفيجن اللي هي الريجولار والبيج سكرين وهنا عندنا في الثيرد كولم اللي هو 
represents the tele television division إيه حطينا الايه الانفورميشن الخاصه بتاعته لغايه ما وصلنا للتريسبل فيكسد كوست فهنا التريسبل فيكسد كوست فور ذا بيج سكرين 35000 فور ذا ريجولار 45000 فور ذا تلفزيون ديفيجن 80000 تمام طيب تو اريف ات ذا برودكت لاين مان مارجن We deduct traceable fixed cost from the contribution margin, so we will arrive the product line margin for each division, uh, for each smaller division, the big screen and the regular, and for the uh, television division, which equal uh, seventy thousands for the television division. To arrive at the divisional margin. We will deduct common costs, which equal ten thousand from the product line margin. Ten thousand from product line manager from seventy thousand. The divisional margin will be sixty thousand. You have to notice that the total fixed costs. The total fixed cost, and here the the traceable fixed cost of the television division, can it ninety thousand? Can it ninety thousand? لو رجعنا للي السلايدز اللي فاتت حلاقي the traceable fixed cost for the television division can it ninety thousand? Can it ninety thousand? خلاص. فهنا أصبح جزء من the traceable fixed cost لا ninety thousand common costs اللي هي بعد كم بعد عشر. يبقى هنا احنا نقدر نقول اللي هي التريسبل كوست كان بيكم ا كومن كوست اف ذا سيجمنت اوف اي ذا ديفيجن از ديفايدد انتو سمولر سيجمنتس لما قسمناه الى uh, اقسام ايه اصغر يبقى هنا يو هاف تو نوت ذات فيكسد كوست دايركتلي تريست تو ذا تلفزيون ديفيجن 80000 بلس 9000 هيديني ذا سبميشن از Here we suppose that the sales increases by five percent. So the sales will be for the regular two hundred and ten, for the big screen one hundred and five thousand. Variable cost will also increase, so the contribution margin of the two segments are as you see. To arrive at the product line margin, we will deduct traceable. Fixed cost from the contribution margin. The contribution margin increases also by the five percent. The product line margin. Of the television division will be seventy-seven and five hundred dollars. The common cost also increased by five thousand dollars. So the common cost will be fifteen thousand, and the divisional margin. Will be increased by two thousand and five hundred dollars. If I'm going to be talking about the increase, increasing in the sales became by five percent, five percent. I'll be having increases in the margin, in the contribution margin, and in the product line margin. And I'll be having. Increase in the common cost, 
وفي الدايفيجنال مارجن برضه هيحصل فيه ايه هيحصل فيه انكريز تمام ده بس للتوضيح كده لو حصل ايه زياده في السيلز هيحصل زياده في الاشياء اللي احنا شايفينها اللي هي المارجن والكومن كوست والدايفيجنال مارجن You have to know also. This slide tells us be careful when allocating a cost among segment. Uh, uh, that can be uh, done by using appropriate allocation base uh, to uh, allocate a cost among uh, segments. You are the henna is they am a the rosal the right allocation uh, cost about, uh, among the segment لو انا استخدمت uh, appropriate allocation base اساس مناسب للايه لتخصيص او لتوزيع التكاليف uh, among uh, among the segments تمام برضو you have to know this uh, this information so let's uh, check your knowledge uh, about what we have discussed This is an income statement of a hood gland uh, company which consists of two uh, segments uh, restaurant and bar and uh, uh, assume uh, that uh, Hogland uh, Lake Shore presented its segmented income statement as shown احنا عندنا segmented income statement of this company و this company has two segments اللي هو البار و restaurants و عطينا ال all inf information about these segments تمام طيب هيسألني هنا how much of the common fixed cost of uh, 200,000 can be avoided by eliminating the bar So if we eliminated uh, the bar, how much of the common fixed cost can be avoided? لو ال ال استبعدنا ال segment اللي هو خاص بالبار هنقدر نتجنب قد ايه من ال common fixed cost اللي هم المتين ألف none of it ولا some of it ولا all of it مم. طبعا دي common fixed cost واحنا قلنا ال common fixed cost remain uh, even if the uh, segment is eliminated خلاص because it is a general or a common cost it relates to the whole organization يبقى the right answer will be none of it اللي هي A Let's see the answer. The next slide. So the right answer is a, a none of it. We have not any explanation about this answer. A common fixed cost cannot be eliminated by dropping one of the a, one of the segments. We have given this ban a right answer. Let's take uh, another more uh, example uh, to check your knowledge. This, exa this example uh, relates to the Hogland uh, example. Uh, suppose square feet is used as the basis for allocating the common fixed cost of 200,000. Uh, the question here, uh, he asks you to determine how much would, the, uh, would be allocated to the bar 
if the bar occupies 1,000 square feet and the restaurant occupies 10,000 square feet. To answer this question, first of all, uh, you have to determine the percentage that the bar uh, division occupies. To do that, you have to, uh, to, to get the summation of the total uh, feet, or total square feet, the summation uh, uh, total square feet that the two re the two division occupied uh, 1000 plus uh, 9000 so the summation equal 10000 square feet so the percent that uh, bar occupies equal 1 over 10 1 over 10 so uh, the uh, bar the bar uh, we can allocate uh, the cost to the bar by multiplying this percentage by the uh, common fixed cost so let's see the uh, details in this answer in the uh, next slide so the right answer we can get by multiplying uh, the percentage 1 over 10 multiplying by 200,000 so the common cost or the common fixed cost allocated to the bar uh, division equal $20,000 he asks you here if Hogland allocates its common costs to the bar and the restaurant what would be the reported profit of each segment? Taban, it is wrong to allocate the common cost to each uh, division or to each segment uh, because this is a common cost relates to the whole organization. If we allocate, if the company allocates its common cost to these segments, Huh. Go like, uh, what would be the reported profit of each segment? I can a shekel the reported profit. Tamam? Taman ho ta sarrof zay mahna wonna a wrong. So han shuf il ha yasal in the next slide. Taib. If the company allocated uh, its common cost to these segments, tahna hena the common cost can it 200,000 zay mahna shayfin. واحنا قلنا البار سيجمنت ها الكومن كوست ذات ريليتس تو ات اللي هي هتبقى 28000 20, وبالتالي الريستورانت الكومن كوست هتبقى 180000 وده طبعا قلنا ايه ان قلنا رونج اكشن تصرف ايه مش مظبوط بس هنمشي مع الايه مع الاكسرسايز طيب لما هنيجي نعمل كومبيوتنج تو ذا بروفيت هلاقي ان البار عندي طبعا في loss of 6000 والريستورانت عندي profit of 50000 والتوتال profit of the organization هيبقى 44000 اوكي طيب هنا we will ask you a question in the next slide let's see should the bar be eliminated Yes or no? هنا بيسأل Should the bar be eliminated? Yes or no? احنا شايفين هنا The bar achieves loss فهنا بيسألني Should the bar be eliminated? طبعا كان في wrong action من الأول نحن عملنا إيه؟ عملنا allocation لل common cost to A to these segments وده wrong A wrong action فطلع لنا عندي result إن أنا عندي loss فين؟ في البار سيجمنت فهل ناخد القرار ده بناء على رونج اكشن من قبل كده طيب هنشوف طيب عشان نجاوب شود ذا بار بي اليمينيتد فهنا قال لي نو no. طب ليه نو no? 
هنا to justify your answer هتقول the profit was 44,000 before eliminating the bar if we eliminate the bar profit drops to 30,000 لو عملنا elimination للبار بص هيبقى البروفيت كم البروفيت اللي هو خاص بالريستوران هو نفسه البروفيت that belongs to the whole organization هيبقى 30,000 يبقى انت بتقارن between 44,000 اللي هو البروفيت before eliminating the bar والبروفيت after eliminating the bar اللي هو كم اللي هو 30,000 يبقى هنا ال decision that we eliminate the bar is a wrong decision ما ينفعش نعمل elimination للبار طيب ال 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 الإجابة دي صحيحة ليه؟ يعني ما ينفعش ليه نعمل إليمينيشن؟ لأن إحنا كنا واخدين رونج أكشن في الأول اللي هو عملنا اللوكيشن للإيه؟ للكومون كوست تو ذا إيه؟ تو ذا تو سيجمنت يبقى هنا وي كانت إليمينيت إيه؟ ذا بار أو وي دونت هاف تو إليمينيت ذا بار بيكوز ذا بروفيت ويل دروب تو ثيرتي إيه؟ ثيرتي ثيرتي ثاوزندز Now let's take the first exercise. The business staff of the law firm Frampton, Davis and Smith has constructed the following report which breaks down the firm's overall result for last month into two business segments, family law and commercial law. Here we have the uh, segmented uh, income statement as you see we have two segments family law and commercial law and the net operating income of uh, the two segments and the company as a whole notice that the family law uh, achieves net uh, uh, operating loss equal four thousand dollar and commercial law achieves net operating income uh, fifty four thousand dollar and the net operating income of the company as a whole uh, fifty thousand dollar however uh, this report is not quite correct the common fixed expenses such as the managing uh, partner salary, general administrative expenses, and general firm advertising have been allocated to the two segments based on revenues from clients. Required, redo the segment report, eliminating the allocation of common fixed expenses. Would the firm be better off financially? If the family law segment were dropped, so he, he asks you here to redo the segment report. I is taid adad segment report. Lila in Hoa, this report is not correct because uh, he allocated the fixed expenses to the two segments. Wada taban haga galat. هنا ال common cost أو ال common expenses ها don't be allocated to the to the segments. فاحنا هنعمل redoing the segment report in correct manner. طيب let's see the elimination. Let's see the solution. Uh, after that, we will uh, uh, eliminate, if we eliminate the family law, we will take a, a decision if uh, the elimination of this uh, segment uh, is better for the company or not. Okay, let's see the answer. The solution of this exercise, the corrected segmented income statement appears as you see. Here a segment margin of uh, each uh, segment 
for the family law uh, equal twenty thousand dollars for the commercial law equal uh, uh, ninety thousand dollars for the company as a whole uh, equal one hundred and ten thousand dollars to correct this uh, statement the common fixed co common fixed expenses or common fixed cost mustn't be allocated to these segments so we have to put the common fixed cost which equal uh, sixty thousand dollars in the column of the whole company under the total title so uh, if we deduct common fixed expenses from segment margin sixty thousand dollars from one hundred and ten thousand dollars the net operating income of the company will be fifty thousand dollars okay this is the corrected income statement here you have uh, to know that common fixed expenses mustn't be allocated to the two segments ماشي ما ينفعش ان انا اعمل allocation لل fixed cost على two segments زي ما هو كان عامل ايه ال incorrect uh, statement طيب let's answer the two questions that uh, he asked us According to this result, I can say, uh, no, the firm wouldn't be financially better off if the family law bracket brackets were dropped. Why? Because the family law segment is covering all of its own costs and is contributing $20,000 per month to covering the common fixed expenses of the firm يبقى هنا هو بيحقق ايه بيحقق segment margin of a of twenty thousand dollars and he covers all his uh, or its uh, all its uh, expenses where uh, he uh, it contributes or also uh, to the uh, to the segment margin of the uh, of the company okay while the segment margin for the family law is much uh, lower than the commercial law it is still profitable moreover family law may be a service that the firm must provide to its commercial clients in order to remain competitive yeah, but here, uh, the company can't uh, remove or can't eliminate the family law segment because it is uh, an important segment uh, that can use it to uh, remain competitive okay بالرغم ان في فرق بين ايه بين الفاميلي لو سيجمنت مارجن والكوميرشال لو سيجمنت مارجن تمام يبقى uh, لما تحب تجاوب هنجاوب بالشكل اللي احنا ايه قلناه يبقى ده uh, exercise number A number one let's see another exercise okay let's take the uh, exercise number two data for June for Ozaki Corporation and its two major business uh, segments north and south appear below it gives us sales revenue for the north variable expense for the north uh, traceable fixed expenses for the north uh, sales reven revenues for the north uh, uh, va variable expenses for south uh, traceable fixed expenses for south uh, this information about the uh, sales revenue and variable expenses uh, and the traceable fixed expenses okay in addition common fixed expenses totaled 
$145,000 and we are allocated as follows uh, $73,000 uh, to the north business segment and $72,000 to the south uh, business segment and I'll tell you the common fixed cost uh, total uh, 145 thousands وعامل allocation uh, to these costs uh, between the north and the and south segment طبعا عشان يلخبطك يبقى حتة ان انا اعمل allocation لل common fixed cost دي uh, is not correct خلي بالك uh, required the contribution margin uh, of the south business segment uh, the second requirement according to a uh, uh, properly constructed segmented income statement in a contribution, mar a contribution margin format what would the segment margin of the north business segment will be the third requirement according to a properly uh, constructed segmented income statement in a contribution format what would the net operating income of the company as a whole will be okay let's see the answer uh, to answer the uh, first requirement, the contribution margin uh, of the south business segment, uh, we know the contribution margin, we can compute it, sales minus variable expenses for the uh, south segment, sales 110,000 minus the variable expense uh, 47,000, so the contribution margin for this segment equal uh, 63,000. To compute the segment margin of the North business segment, sales of the segment, which equal uh, 550,000 minus variable expense, uh, which is uh, 207,000. So the contribution margin of the segment equal uh, 280,000. We uh, will deduct traceable fixed expenses from uh, the contribution margin to arrive at segment margin of this uh, segment. So the segment margin of the north business segment will be uh, 192,000. Okay. Uh, to compute the net operating income of the company as a whole, you have to prepare a segmented income statement like you see, or as you see, uh, north segment and the uh, south segment, and uh, one column for the, uh, the company as a whole, titled total. Okay. We will uh, go uh, in these steps, and you have to remember the uh, uh, common fixed expenses mustn't be uh, allocated uh, to the segments. We are correct that we will make allocation to the segments. So here, the common fixed expenses, 145. Uh, the, we will uh, deduct these expenses, common fixed expenses, from segment margin to arrive at the net operating income. So the net operating income equals uh, $89,000. Uh, 89, okay? And you have also to know that traceable fixed expenses, these traceable fixed expenses belongs to each uh, segment. So uh, you have to uh, put each one for uh, each cost, I mean, you have to put, to put each cost for each segment. So the traceable fixed expenses for the north equal 88,000, for the south equal 21,000. Yeah, but traceable fixed cost, the traceable fixed cost, the traceable segment, but the common fixed expenses, our common, common fixed cost, the uh, belongs to our tachos el a el el company as a whole. Yep, uh, 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 you don't need to allocate 
a it to the a to the segment okay ويبقى ده هنا كده السوليوشن بتاع الاكسرسايز نمبر ايه نمبر 2 let's go to the next slide i'll give you a homework exercise uh, i want you to uh, try to solve it yourself to check your knowledge about what we had discussed It says here Alex Kambani sells three products, product A, B, and product C, and had sales of one million dollars during the months of June. The company's overall contribution margin ratio was 37%, and fixed expenses totaled $340,000. Sales were... Uh, Uh, product A $500,000 Product B $300,000 And Product C $200,000 Traceable fixed costs were For Product A $120,000 Product B $100,000 And Product C $60,000 The variable expenses of product A were $300,000 and the variable expenses of product B were uh, $180,000 required to prepare a complete segmented income statement. يبقى هنا هو عايزك تو بريبير انك تعد كومبليت سيجمنتد انكم ستيتمنت قائمه دخل متكامله قطاعيه خلاص فور ذا ايه فور ذا ذيس سيجمنتس تراي تو سولف ات يور سيلف to check your knowledge now we arrived at the end of this lecture and the end of this chapter يبقى المطلوب منكم المحتويات فقط بتاعة هذه المحاضرة او الخاصة بهذا الشابتر اللي انت تركز عليها فقط هنكمل احنا كده فاضل لنا uh, one chapter احنا ممكن هناخده على هنقسمه will be divided into three uh, lecture بإذن الله هنقسمه على ثلاث محاضرات بحيث each one will be a small ما تبقاش محاضرة ايه محاضرة كبيرة تمام فانتظروا اخر uh, chapter بإذن الله خلال الايه الايام القليلة القادمة وتحاولوا تراجعوا وتذكروا الاجزاء اللي احنا خدناها علشان لما يبقى في امتحان نبقى احنا ايه مستعدين دعواتي بالتوفيق والسداد وكل عام وانتم بخير